next story is for every driver who's ever been caught in a speed trap. Who doesn't know the frustration of rolling right past a speed trap? High gas prices and speed traps. Imagine you're driving 70 miles an hour on the highway and the speed drops to 45 and you're greeted by cops. This is what's called a speed trap. But what people don't realize is that there are small towns all across America that pull people over for absolutely no reason. And this is Eustis, a small town in Texas that I got pulled over at for basically no reason. So today, I'm going to be investigating why towns do this and how you can avoid traps like these that are all over America. And the best way to start out my investigation is to use my crappy Honda. So this is my Honda. I've used this car for several videos. <laughs> I've using this car is because I want them to find a reason to try to pull me over for doing absolutely nothing wrong. It just looks like crap. Literally everything is legal on this car. Uh, well, hopefully nothing's illegal on it. <laughs> so now I'm going to be driving everywhere, showing you what speed traps look like and what to avoid while simultaneously trying to get pulled over at the same time. This is a speed trap town where it was going 60 and now it's going 25 now, 35. Oh, there he is, he's right there. But there are also ways I avoid getting pulled over by using these tactics. You can use the app called Waze and also use a radar detector. So in order to know where the cops are at, I have a radar detector. And this thing pretty much goes on any car and you're able to get it. The link is in the description. I run these in pretty much every car that I own. I think this is definitely a necessity to have. If you were to get a ticket, you'd be able to buy one of these anyway. So there's no reason for not having one because you would avoid tickets overall and then might as well just forward the money to a cause that will make sure you don't get in trouble. And other than that, I've been working really, really hard on my own brand, No No Limits, just to let you guys know that you have no limits in this world and that you are limitless. It's something I live by and I've been creating my whole brand around that. So the merch store is now live. So anything you need is in the description and uh, so is everything that you might've seen in this video. So the speed just went from 70, 70 to 55. So they sit literally like right over here. So slow down and we're gonna get over in this and we're gonna, I'm gonna show them where they sit. So this is one of the main spots the cops sit. So you saw that right when we went up the hill, it turned from 75 or 70 to 55 miles an hour. And right when you go over that crest, the cop sits right here under this tree. So when people come into town, they get caught. Right when you see the sign, you have to be going 55 miles an hour. So slam on your brakes, do whatever it takes to get that so you don't get your ticket. After learning a lot more about where the cops strategically sit to give everyone tickets, I thought it'd be a great time for me to go into the town of Eustis and ask the residents what they think. Do you think it's like a speed trap? town here uh, kind of kind of have you heard any crazy stories of like people like getting pulled over for like something insane that and then they've been pulled over for going slow here really yeah. do you feel that this town may be like a speed trap or like people are like getting uh, caught for doing nothing actually no because i know the chief of police yeah personally we did a poll on facebook and really asked what was the worst city in east texas to go through and everyone thinks it's houston wow i heard that like when you come through this town that maybe a lot of people get like pulled over and stuff like that speed limit. like where are like, the main spots they hide at um coming down the hill coming down the hill yeah. so like between that like where the interpasses yeah. are both like there's like it turns into like four lanes you're saying yeah they, they gave so many tickets here that for a whole year that we weren't we didn't get pulled over out here because of it like what so have, what's the craziest story you heard of like someone coming through and like getting pulled over for i haven't really heard any bad stories that just say the police sit in awkward places yeah have you heard any really crazy stories from people that live in here no no you definitely think this is a speed town city like yeah. a speed trap city yeah. wow okay thank you so much appreciate it oh, yeah this is definitely a speed trap town no it's not a speed trap we just don't want you to go fast at the end of the month that's when they hide Pull over people. Do you think it's for profit of like kind of keeping the town alive? I'm not gonna spit out names out there, but yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Even though some of this information was super interesting from some of the residents and the people that passed through, I wanted to get some more hardcore facts. So I had Peyton do some research, and this is what she found. Basically, there's this whole website about like different speed trap cities. It's literally called speedtrap.org. There's like four or five comments on Eustis directly, and this one literally says, Recently, I was giving a given a ticket for speeding because I didn't wait to pass the speed limit sign. I wasn't 40 feet from the sign and already was getting pulled over. I mean, only if they had a radar detector would they be able to catch that. The entire stretch of uses of Highway 175 is the entire city's source of income. There's literally a spot in it that says, don't even think about going one mile per hour over the speed limit if you're here, you will get pulled over. <laughs> Well, it's interesting. There's a lot of speed traps around here and we're trying to make sure it doesn't happen and make sure it doesn't happen to you too. Just like it happened to me about two weeks ago. 
And this is how that went. Okay, we got pulled over in the Honda. <sighs> Me, bro. How you doing? Hi hey there, like sir. Bill Eustis, got driver's license, proof insurance. Yes, sir. Living here now. Even though I didn't ask for the reason why he pulled me over, there was no reason why he pulled me over at all. He saw my car and immediately thought to follow me and question me. I wasn't speeding or doing anything wrong. So that's what made me wonder, why do they do this? And do they do this to everyone? He definitely pulled it over just because of the way it looked. The front bumper, gone. The rear bumper is like kind of intact. It's just got stupid ratchet traps going around the back. Right, so you're gonna get the citation day for the expired registration, which went out 9 of 20. Okay. So when I gave him my information, that's when he found out my car wasn't up to date on registration. And even if the cops pull you over and don't have a reason to ticket you, they will find one. And this is a friendly reminder to make sure you have taken care of everything on your vehicle so this same thing doesn't happen to you. Sign across that line, it's not a pre deal, it's a positive PR. Take care of it. Sounds good. Do you know how much the ticket is? I'll give you a piece of paper. What's crazy is that he had a piece of paper with every type of citation on it because so many people asked the same question that I did. So they decided to print them out and hand them out to everyone like candy on Halloween alongside with their tickets. Apologize for any inconvenience. Apparently I'm 5'8". <laughs> Expired registration, $217. Damn. This is crazy. And what amazed me is that when I was looking at this piece of paper, this wasn't even the craziest thing they took it for. All right, so, got it, you're in? Okay, yeah. cool. All right, so we just wanted to show you some fun facts here. Basically, it has every single thing that they will find you for if you get pulled over for it. So basically, if you see here, it says one mile an hour over from five miles an hour over, it was, it was a $202 fine. And it goes all the way up from, from one mile an hour over to Wait, 25 miles an hour. What? Wait, is that real? Yes. One through five. So if you go five over, you'll get a $200. Exactly. Time. What? That's what I'm saying. The thing is, is they gave me a, uh, uh, this paper just because I know you might have questions. Here you go. And they handed it to me. And I was like, what? So when I was coming through Eustace, I stopped right there at the gas station. And basically, I made the decision. I saw them start coming after me. And I wasn't speeding. Because if I was speeding, they could have just came up to the gas station and pulled me over right there. Because I was it was a moving violation. But they saw me and they stopped. And they just drove around the gas. Look at look at what? Look at look at look at look at look at it's literally happening right now. No way. It literally just happened. Oh shoot, they're all undercover still, dude. Dude, I want to go over there and like listen. That's crazy. That happened like literally right next to us. There's another <laughs> cop that just pulled up too. But yeah. just try not to make it too obvious that we're like filming. <laughs> it's kind of hard. So obvious. We're getting pulled over when we leave here for sure. I'm kind of curious. Do you think I should go over there and ask them? No. The cops? Or not right now? I would wait. You would wait? Yeah. Well, I mean, I could probably ask the cops over there. Hey, can I ask you? Can I ask you something real quick? So I was wondering, like, is do you think Eustace is known for like a speed trap town? Yeah. yeah, it's kind of known for that. We'll step out of the way, but they, they kind of speed trap people here, but like how do people avoid it? You can. But why do people, like, do you know why why officers do do that or why certain towns do that? No, I really don't. Damn. Yeah, okay. just do it. Yeah, you don't care if I film, right? Uh -huh. You don't care if I film? Okay, cool. It's just a little microphone. Yeah. Just was something that I was interested in because I got pulled over in this thing and I wasn't doing anything. That's why I was like, oh, why did that happen? So. Yeah, just go speed limit, man. Yeah, of course, I, of course. <laughs> I do, I do. Thank you, hey. Appreciate it, thanks for the service. Dude, so they basically just said, just respect the speed. So Respect my authority is what he meant. No, he's really cool. No, no, no. no, no. I mean, let's just get this clear, guys. Like, some cops are really, really cool, and some cops are just... Most cops uh, are. Yeah, most cops are really cool, and some kind of aren't. So we just gotta be careful with the certain ones that we run into, and, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. Oh, here, let me ask the guy what he got pulled over for. Hey, excuse me, bro. Can I ask you what you just got pulled over for? Pulled me over for uh, no tags. Okay, did they see that you had no tags, or they just pulled you over because of you? I just bought the bike. Oh, Friday really? In Dallas. But they saw you had no tags? Yeah. Like they saw it? They uh, ran my plate from an inch. Uh, we're in a speed trap down? We're in a speed trap. We were just filming all the cops. You see anything there? Nobody. No? Okay. Oh, man. I see the dog. What? They got us. What do you mean? <laughs> I was like, what got us what? I'm like, we didn't do anything wrong. Yeah.